Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Ruth Marquise with Keller Williams Real Estate. And I wanted to talk about why you can't buy a house. Uh, a lot of times people think that they can't buy a house because they, they have thoughts in their mind. I have bad credit. I can't save money. I'm not ready for a house. There's a lot of repairs you got to make. There's a lot of responsibility, blah, 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 right? And the real reason why you can't buy a house is because of your thinking. It's because you don't believe. You don't believe that you can buy a house. Like, I'm listening to a video and she's talking about the law of attraction. And um, she was like, she didn't have any money. She didn't have anything saved. She didn't have good, the best credit. But she started listening to the law of attraction and she's like, oh, okay. So she started believing, I'm going to get this house. I know this is the house that I want. I'm not going to let this happen. Like things start moving when you start believing that you can do something. It's amazing. Like this happened to me recently where it's like production wise, I was started to ch shift my thinking, thinking like, oh, I'll only get this and this is this person's goal. And I guess I can't do better than that and blah, blah, blah. And then when I started shifting it and I'm like, whoa. Hold up, wait a minute. I could do a lot more than I think. I can start getting where I want to go. It's more like whatever you you believe, that's what you're going to get. If you believe you can't do it, then you're not going to do it. So when you don't believe, it's like it's the only thing that's stopping you are negative thoughts, negative thinking. Let's take this motivational thing and let's take this real estate thing and put it together because a lot of buyers that could be buyers they just don't believe they how many times do i talk to somebody with bad credit and they be like, well they say i have bad credit roof and i'm like really you do i said what's the number i don't even want to tell you roof i don't want to tell you and then they're like and i'm like you giving me a number that you already qual you're qualified like you thinking it's bad credit but you're not understanding that it's not bad credit for buying a house right now because the government wants to help you buy a house so this is why you have programs like FHA and all that stuff. So if you want something, if you want a house, if you want a car, if you want a better job, you have to think in a way like, I'm going to get it. This is mine. Like, it has changed everything to just say, you know what? I believe in myself. I'm confident that I can do whatever it takes to get it done. So if you start putting the things, that's why I'm trying to make it more practical for you the the information make it more practical and just using the house as an example you can take it and take house out and make anything else put anything else in that place if you want a promotion that's what you do i'm gonna get this promotion this is my promotion this is what i'm gonna do and matter of fact if they don't want to give it to me i'll go get promoted somewhere else i'll go promote myself I'll, I'll go promote myself and get myself a job you know so there's a lot of things that you can do to get yourself out of that negative space because if you're staying in that negative space and you feel like you can't do something guess what whatever you think is that's what's going to happen thoughts are things so that's what's going to happen so number one you don't believe you can get it done when it comes to buying a house and you don't believe you don't believe you can get it done you don't believe you can save the money you don't believe you can fix your credit you don't believe that like some people think they have bad credit and that's how it's going to be forever but the real <laughs> somebody's like uh, i paid to get that stuff off roof i was like don't you know that's the game that's the game you pay to get it off or you you get credit repair or that's nothing but them taking stuff off that don't belong or that's you know that's just you saying what's the minimum amount tell me you haven't used your credit karma to be like let me see how much i can just pay what's the minimum amount i can pay to boost my score exactly so you play the credit game and and that's what you do but don't say ah i can't get it done i always have bad credit or i'm bad at saving money i'm bad at this you know what the difference between someone that i tell hey you're two to three months away from buying a house and the difference between somebody i say i say you're six months away from buying a house is night and day the two to three per month person they're like you know what in two months two months is gonna go by quickly so let me get myself together let me you know that's gonna give me enough time to do this and do that the six month person what do they do yeah it'll happen whatever and really they in their mind they just don't believe so don't be that person that doesn't believe like say tell yourself i can do it i can save i can get everything done um I, a side note right so with with um I was watching a video on a cleaning routine and she was like yeah that's my cleaning routine that I do I am so excited that I started my cleaning routine 
and I'm like doing one thing at a time because I'm like, no, my house will never get clean. This, but I'm doing one part at a time. So every day I'm working on just one thing, sweep all the floors or pick up at all the floors or the other, and another day is clean the kitchen or clean the bathroom or whatever. And it's like, you will not believe like, oh my gosh, things are changing. That's exactly how it is. When you start to believe that you can do something and you're like, you know what? I might not believe I can do the whole thing, but I believe for this small part. So number two, is you don't you don't believe you deserve it I don't need a house and I don't think I can get one everybody act like a house is like winning the lottery like is this a house it's another payment or something that you gotta pay <laughs> like it's a house and people want to give you a loan just qualify for it just do what they ask you to do. They give you a long list. My lenders are great at telling you exactly what you need to do. I need you to pay this to 425. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. I need you to wait. I need you to open up a secure credit card. I need for $200. All these different things, but you have to believe that you deserve this house. You have to believe like, you know what? I work really hard. Why I give it over to my landlord? I have to live somewhere anyway. I might as well own. I might as well invest in my future. So believe that you deserve a house a starter home it doesn't have to be your dream home but it's yours right that's like everybody wants to get their first nice car they think their first car is going to be a bmw a lexus or whatever and guess what you just need to get it from point a to b you might have to drive that celebrity <laughs> what's my first car i don't know what it was but it was not it was not it was not popping at all that car broke down on me like every month it was crazy but just get yourself into a starter home and then start to dream about something bigger so just stop you know just being in la la land and try, try to find something that is practical and something that you don't mind moving into and i'll find you something pretty right <laughs> number three you don't believe in the process okay so a lot of times people don't believe in the process of, you know, fixing their credit and they just feel like it'll never change. But all you got to do is take the steps, pay it. Sorry, guys. Pay exactly what you need to pay and know that the stuff will fall off. Know that things will happen where, um... It will just, over time, in this 30, I call it a 90-day process. In my mind, it's 30 days. 90 days from the time you say, Ruth, I'm going to buy a house. You can save $5,000 in 90 days. You can fix your credit in 90 days if it's not, you know, that, that bad. You know what I'm saying? But, yes, trust in the process and know that, look, this is what I have to do. It's going to be a little stressful. I got to get some paperwork together. I got to get my money together. I got to get my mind together. And... I'd have to trust the process that this person knows what they're doing and they'll help me get to the finish line. So number four, you don't believe it, it can happen to you. Like that's why don't you believe that it can happen for you? If you see other people doing something, you got to know that you can do that as well. As long as I see somebody doing something, I know that that's possible for me to do it as well. It doesn't take intelligence. It doesn't take anything. It just takes following instructions and keeping your disciplines up. Keep your disciplines, small little disciplines lead to bigger disciplines, and then you will have what you want, which is what? A house. So that's why you can't get a house, because you don't believe. So all you got to do is switch that up and believe. And I told you guys before in a prior video, take all your negative thoughts, list them out, and then I want you to flip them. I can't buy a house. I can buy a house. I don't deserve it. I do deserve it. And then I want you to play that in your mind all the time. So you'll say, I do deserve a house. The next thing is, what can I do to deserve it? How can I look on paper like I deserve a house? How can I go and produce income on paper so that the bank can think I deserve a house? I have to convince the bank that I deserve a house. And that is why we're not eating out right now because we want to look like we deserve a house. After you get the house, do whatever you want. All right, bye. This is Ruth and Marquise Haynes with Keller Williams Real Estate. Um, comment below and let me know what you are going to do to change your mind and believe in yourself that you can do this. And if you have any questions, comment below. Thank you so much. Bye.